Hello everyone, my name is Rajiv and uh, in this video I'll show you one fantastic open source uh, render farm software. The name of this software is uh, CGRUFNC. So let's see what is this tool and how we can install this tool and uh, how it, this tool is working. So to get this tool you can go to CGRU uh, dot info so there you can uh, download this tool and also you can just go through uh, all the all of this like how this things work like server API so it's very very good documentation also provide with CGRU and uh, yeah for download you can just go to downloads menu here and here you can select your uh, platform which uh, operating system you are using so currently I'm using CentOS 7 so as I can see the CentOS 7 is there and even you can get the oldest version like CentOS 6 uh, Mac version uh, is not uh, no special release for Mac OS so okay anyway like you can you can compile the re rebuild this uh, software and from the source also so anyway we are not going to rebuild that we, we just uh, download the CentOS 7 version on all the available version you can just start with that so I already download uh, this CentOS 7 version I just uh, extract that package so with this uh, ex uh, extraction I can see that actually uh, the packages are FNC common uh, Qt GUI and uh, uh, FNC render so these all RPM comes with that with these shell files so all you need to do you just open this folder in terminal and uh, obviously you need some um, root permissions because uh, this uh, FNC uh, CGRU is uh, going to install in your OPT folders like I'll show you if you go to my computer OPT and uh, here you can see that CGRU so this folder it will be installed automatically let's see uh, so here you can see that FNC uh, AF render AF server and CGRU so if you want to install only server packages you can go with that and if you want your machine to be uh, only a render node so you can just use this AF render but in our case we'll use uh, CGRU to complete package so like install CGRU and if you face like some uh, permission issues with that you can just right click properties and go to permission and allow executing file as a program so when you execute this it will search for the dependencies and it will uh, if any anything like it's PyQt required and all some libraries required it will automatically install with this shell script so it's very very easy to install this there's no I think you can just execute this shell file and your software will be installed pretty much so uh, you can see that Postgres libraries it's such for all the libraries things or whatever dependencies but in my system everything is installed so I can see that CentOS 7 uh, this uh, CGRU uh, is installed okay so let's quit and uh, so this installation process very easy very simple uh, compared to all other open source application which is available in market that is really very headache to install them and properly working them so after installation you can go to your graphics for option menu and there you can see CGRU FNC when you click on that and uh, then that, that FNC will become in your menu icon so here I can see that CGRU icon there and if you right click on this like you can see all the FNC's menu so uh, let's see how uh, how these options are like first thing submit jobs like if you click that you can just submit jobs I will not go deeper inside that maybe in next tutorial I will go step by step in all these features but let's see how how the basic things going on with this tool and how this tool is 
uh, creating uh, rend uh, like managing the rendering stuff so for simply demonstration i will execute uh, blender software so you can go to software and blender and first time you should go there and set up your software so if you go and select this blender uh, this will ask you where is your executable file so just select your executable where you installed and uh, this will uh, start your application from that so uh, yes let's see uh, how this thing will work so go to software and uh, uh, blender this thing uh, this uh, cgru fnc can work with uh, maya houdini blender nuke after effects as you can see here uh, like uh, blender after effects and all the procedures is also mentioned like in maya it, the tools are there and in new if you if you see this uh, the, all the nodes will provide with the new and uh, like in uh, in Houdini Houdini there will be nodes for this I will explain you all of this let's start with blender first so I will open a simple scene and uh, like first I will introduce you where where is the uh, the web QI of this like where I can see what uh, what jobs are going on so just go to this icon tray icon and uh, FNC and you can see this web QI so web QI is actually uh, this uh, web uh, with this you can actually see all the jobs and how uh, how many nodes are there so right now uh, only uh, one node because I'm in my laptop and I just installed so it's just showing on the only one node but you can connect as many nodes you can connect with that it uh, if uh, you, you need to provide the server address so uh, where you can see the server that is like I will uh, explain you that also like how you can uh, uh, install the uh, how you can configure the clients with server anyway you can you can see this show info thing so this will actually show you where uh, is your server and all the information uh, regarding your stuff like AF client port uh, AF render and AF server so right now I'm in local host this is AF server name and if just you, you all you need you need to just replace this uh, with your server port so that also like too complex uh, I will go in next videos uh, so uh, here you can see that my local host the address and after that the port is 51,000 and I can see one node so let's see so by default uh, I am in blender and uh, FNC will come inside this uh, and render node but here uh, you cannot see any any node uh, so where you can you can go to file um, user preferences and inside user preferences inside you can select this render and in render you can the first option is render uh, fnc file manager if you can just see all of this like it's a cgru plugin okay so it's there and now i can see that fnc is visible here okay so here only few options like what you can see so this is uh, VFX pipeline to version 001 so this is our simply uh, I just give a name what should be the job name renderer currently like cycles and blender uh, renderer that we can set it so yes submit job uh, let's see side by side so you click submit job and your this scene will send to uh, FNC render farm so if you if you select the job you can see that this job is started and you can come here oh and you can see this your rendering is started and also you can see this uh, thumbnails with that and if you want you can pause this and if you have like many nodes you can just put them and you can split your work with that very easily 
and uh, if you want you can just uh, start that and uh, it will start it again as you can see your node you can see in the inside the node it's it's working well uh, when it's come to job yeah and even you can see the details with that so like all the details how the things the rendering is working so it's very handy and it's very uh, good tool uh, you can use it in uh, in any CG pipeline it's very uh, good um, especially with Maya um, Houdini uh, blender with all it's well working with that and also uh, the it's the support for this software is very good yeah it's a very very big community over there on the internet you can find lots of uh, queries uh, so yeah I think uh, it's a it's a small introduction for this tool um, maybe for uh, next couple of videos I'll show you more deeply like how this thing uh, you can use in your production pipeline so thank you very much and enjoy this tool bye bye